when Sokolov has passed at his funeral. Like this, perhaps. Sokolov is dead. Gone forever. We were rivals at the Academy, yes. He was jealous of my agile brain and youthful energies. But he's dead now. And what can I say about him? Sokolov, he did improve on some inventions. He did well for himself in his way. He had many admirers among the aristocracy, especially those who lack a solid background in matters of natural philosophy. He was a painter of portraits. They say his work was genius. That remains to be seen. Time will tell. I can't believe this. When I took this job, they told me I'd work with good men. Ugh. I feel dirtier than when I started. If you don't mind, obviously I'd like to be alone in here. Excuse me. A lady needs her privacy. Have you never seen a woman before? Not all of us are empresses. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. It's not that I object to holding him hostage for a while, since he's been aiding the Lord Regent, but it's a shame. I always found him rather charming. Anton Sokolov dined with us at the manor several years ago. He is both brilliant and disgusting. I doubt he has changed much. Bringing in Sokolov was a stroke of genius. The Lord Regents got the support of most of the noble families. Who knows what bullying he's done to bring them all in line. We need information to break his hold. To think, Lord Pendleton is the son of nobility. For one so steeped in courtly manners, his thoughts do linger long on revenge and murder. The younger Pendleton, jealous little Trevor, always in his shadow. He is prone to skin infections. His eyes are sensitive to the light. Pendleton's ships come back from the Pandesian continent, crowded with poor, frightened captives. To think, Lord Pendleton is the son of nobility. Take as long as you like. Lydia brought me some tea and I can wait all night. You just missed her. She's off to see Admiral Havelock where Sokolov is being, uh, housed. Physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. 
It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so far. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. It's time to put him to the question. Whenever you're ready, Corvo. He can get us closer to the Lord Regent. It's unfortunate that this must be done. part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Street Brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate? Tonight? The timing is perfect with Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll we'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out, in whatever way you can devise. 
We're very close now. If you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I swear I never saw her face. Although I can vouch that her hindquarters are the finest in the city. And perhaps the Empire itself. Mm. I assume I will remain in this kennel for the duration of your little protest movement. I don't suppose you have anything to read. Wilmot's History of the Lesser Perversions, perhaps? You're mistaken if you think I care a fig for the Lord Regent. The man's neurotic. He's the source of most of our trouble, I suspect. You're a far more interesting person than I took you for, Corvo. One day we'll have quite a conversation. I never believed you were the one to strike down the Empress, Corvo. She cared for you greatly. But I suspect you'll be the man to put the next Empress on the throne. Anton Sokolov. He knew me once, and did much to set me on my path. Yes, so the loss is a foreigner, with the looks and manner of a particular swineherd, but he is also a great genius. Not all his knowledge was gleaned from academy books, some is gained from the maids of him as he beds. What the aristocracy will pay for a portrait painted by Anton Sokolov, if only they knew how much he detests. The city owes much to this great mind. Let him drink and find company where he can. Anton Sokolov, he knew me once and did much to set me on. I hear you're off to the boils, little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked the Lord Regent. I'll be sorry to miss the whole affair, but you know how it is. Top secret missions and all that. It's rather important. I wouldn't trust anyone but you to deliver the message to Lord Shaw. The note is brief, but Lord Shaw will understand it. Watch yourself among the Lord Regent's noble bootlickers. I do hate to bother you with the matter of this message, but it's of importance, and you'll be able to handle it better than anyone else, I assure you. ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink any? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh... Mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. A masked ball. You happen to have the most clever mask of them all. Entering a hive of aristocrats, all who live to kiss the Lord Regent's backside. I'd rather swim with the hagfish. Lord Pendleton is an exception, of course. The Boyle family is notorious in high society for their decadence and cruelty. I wish you well. Getting in and out of Boyle Manor won't be trivial. You could apply force or guile. Trust your gut in knowing which is the best approach. That thing with the brandy, simply brilliant.
Attention Dunwall citizens. Due to the rise in the population of plague rats, you are warned to stay out of uninhabited buildings. Dear Uncle, it's been a while since I've heard from you, and with the way things are going, I can't be sure we'll see each other again. I just wanted to tell you I'm doing well, and I'm safe, for now. My job, caring for a young girl, is better than I expected, though she can be very trying. But I'm treated well. There is enough to eat. I fare better than most, I suppose. We are the last of our family, Uncle Kurnow. We just have to go on living, if we can. May we see each other soon. Your niece, Callista. Everything was so fancy at the Golden Cat, but in a different way than the palace was fancy. The old Madame Prudence said that all the ladies are princesses and the men come to admire them. My doll, Mrs. Pilsen, was there the day my mother died. We both saw it. I bet Mrs. Pilsen would have liked it there. I hope she's safe. Wherever she is. If I ever see my doll again, I'm going to declare a holiday across the Empire. The Boyle Costume Ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. I think that old woman they call Granny Rags used to live around here. Makes sense that a lunatic like her would be neighbors with Lady Boyle. If half the stories about the Boyle family are true, I wouldn't want to step foot onto the Boyle estate. The streets will be hostile until you get to the party itself. Good luck in there. Don't let them fool you. These people are rich, but they're cutthroats just the same.
This place gives me the creeps. Didn't old Granny Rags used to live right here? Who? That crazy old lady? They say she used to be a noblewoman until her whole family died off. They say she sold them to the outsider. How about this? You do your damn job, and I'll watch out for scary old ladies. Huh? Probably rats. Into everything. Corvo? Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party.
she was supposed to sing that evening in the garden, but she lost her voice right at the start. And that's a crime? Wait for it. A couple of overseers were passing and they had one of their, you know. The music boxes. So she stopped singing as they passed and... And they thought she was a witch. You should have seen it. Ran right through the rose bushes and tackled her. Dragged her back to that abbey. And they call us stupid. We had to get a notarized letter from the regent himself to get her back. But she hasn't been the same since. I'm not surprised. I've heard stories. She won't talk about it. One of these days I'm going to take one of those zealots apart myself. I'll be right behind you. This city is built on the bones of the Great Ones. 